welcome to the Saturday vlog. If you saw my last vlog last night, we went to, what is it, like Platform 18? I always heard the name of it. But it is a, a mock train and you like sit in it and you have drinks. They only serve drinks, but I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm not feeling too hot this morning. I had two martinis and I'm like not doing the best, but we should on a walk or grab some coffee at four. We don't have any beans in our house. So we need to go grab some coffee this morning, but it is Saturday and I'm just gonna do a full day Saturday vlog. And then I think I'm gonna do a Sunday vlog tomorrow. So like two separate vlogs. We're trying to get in the festive spirit here. It is Christmas, almost. It is the, oh my gosh, next Sunday is Christmas. Freaking crazy. So we're trying to get in the spirit. I am gonna go ahead and get ready, put on a little bit of makeup because we gotta cover up the acne scarring before we go up to my niece's dance recital. She does like a holiday one every single year and it's so much fun. So me, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my nephew Grant are gonna go up there and watch her. It is hot out today though. I think it was like 60 some degrees this morning and I put on my new vest from Lulu and I'm hot and sweaty, <laughs> but it's so cute. Let's go look in the mirror. I am just obsessed with it. I think it is so cute. And it's just like, it looks good with anything underneath it. Like I have a really baggy sweatshirt underneath it, but I could put something like thinner and make it like a little more dressed up. But I love the hood and I just love the bulkiness of it. But I'm sweating in this, but I do want to wear it today. I feel like I look rough because I feel rough. Yikes. I switched out my sweatshirt. I just put on a thinner like aloe sweatshirt. Uh, so it's not super thick and hot. And I already feel like a million times better because I was sweating in that. <laughs> in that big sweatshirt from Elwood. I wanna talk about something that's really, really, really important to me. Everyone talks about the salt and stone Santel deodorant. I'm here to tell you, if you have sensitive armpits and you have to get the sensitive version, don't waste your money. Like don't, on any of the scents. I have this scent, the Santel one, my best friend has a different scent. I can't remember which one what, what it is, but she had to get the sensitive one too. And she was like, I just don't understand like, why I smell like BO. Like I never smell like BO. Even if I don't wear deodorant for like, I forget about it. Like I do not smell like BO. But the minute her and I both put on the sensitive version, we smell like BO. It's wild. Like I could go two days without wearing deodorant and not smell like BO at all. And I put that on and minutes later, I'm like, my clothes smell like it. It is wild. But then Austin, I got him the regular version of the, so like the non-sensitive, it's like the extra strength. And it does not do that to him, like at all. It's, he smells so good with his deodorant on. Like he uses, he uses black rose and oud. It's oud, oud, I have no idea. It is the regular version and it is the, it's just the non-sensitive version, version. I think it's the extra strength. It does smell a little feminine, so if you, <laughs> black rose is definitely a feminine smell, but I thought because it was a black bottle, I was like, oh, it's a masculine smell. No, it's not. But he honestly smells really, really good with it. So get the extra strength and not sensitive version, but if you have sensitive armpits, don't do it. Don't waste your money. I use this native deodorant. I get the cotton and lily and I get the sensitive skin one. It's also aluminum free and this one's baking soda free. So I know it's probably not the best, natural deodorant out there, but to me it actually works and that's all that matters to me. I still sweat a little bit, like that's just natural, right? Like sweating is natural. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup because we gotta leave here in a few, what time is it? It's 9.20 and we gotta leave here at 10. Um, it's kind of far away, it's like way up north. Also, one more thing, do you see my eye how it's like red right there? I swear, First of all, I ate a lot of gluten and dairy last night and my stomach is so unwell this morning. It's wild. I feel ill. But I swear whenever I have something that I like am not agreeing with, my eyelids will swell. So that's cute. Nothing like a good eyelid swelling in the morning, you know? Ugh. I feel so out of sorts this morning just from waking up late and being hungover but I haven't taken any medication. I haven't done anything yet and I just feel weird. I just took my thyroid medicine, which I take every single day. I'm on new thyroid medicine. It's a whole ordeal with like my acne and like everything else that's been going on, which I'm gonna talk about in another video sometime, but I take that and then I also take my probiotic in the morning, but I need to spread them out. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm spreading them out. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna take that in a little bit before I eat like a little protein shake or something for the morning just to get me like back on track because I feel like poop. I need to hang up some clothes, um, but I didn't want to talk about a funny story. <clears throat> this morning, Austin, I went to go get coffee at four and we were walking away and Hadley had to poop. And it's very normal. We're like, okay, she's pooping. 
And I remember yesterday I was like, shit, I don't have any poop eggs left. I used the last one yesterday. And like, we're in like a very populated area. Like, there's a lot of people around, you know? We we're like looking around, we're like, is there any poop bag holders anywhere? Like, what do we do? We we're like, okay, well, let's just leave it. We'll go grab poop bag and then we'll come back, which is what we usually do if this happens. Like, we'll just walk back there. We notice like there's no cars coming, like whatever. So we start walking away. And as we're walking away, this guy pulls up and he yells at us outside of his car. And he's like, hey, like, pick up your dog's poop. Or no, he said, hey, pick up your dog's shit. And I literally got back. I was like, I would have had a poop bag. Like, I was just so annoyed. Like, we are people who pick up our dog's shit. Like, that is, like, our number one thing. And I also think it's disgusting if people don't pick up their dog's shit. And I also think it's very, very rude if people don't pick up their dog's shit. So, I get why he said it. I would have probably thought the same thing if I was driving by. But it was obviously embarrassing. I'm like, oh, well, that's embarrassing. Like, now, if we see him at the coffee shop, again, because, like, I'm pretty sure he's, like, a local there. Like, he's going to think that we don't pick up our dog's shit. And we do. So we had to drive around, or not drive around, we had to go walk around and find a place that had poop bags to, to use. And we obviously found one, we walked back and we did it and like whatever, it all worked out well. But I don't know, I just get, like I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, we're not people who don't pick up our dog shit, you know? I hope that that guy knows that and I hope I see him again. And I hope he says something to me because I would literally tell him like, if you were to come back 20 minutes later, you would saw it was picked up because like we always go back and get it if, if it ever happens to us it's very very rare it happens but it does it's a thing also like the biggest shit Hadley's taken in forever I'm like Hadley <laughs> you just dropped a log and like we don't have any poop eggs to pick it up <laughs> oh my gosh so um, that was fun <laughs> I'm sure other people heard it too which is really obnoxious that feels good get my clothes hung up feels good to get that all done I'm unwell my stomach hurts so bad why do I do this to myself? Like, did you just hear that? It was like... <laughs> Before I leave for dance, I wanted to show you guys the new vase that I got from Lifestyle Co. So this big boy came from Lifestyle Co. And I'm obsessed with it. I think it is absolutely stunning. I'll show you some more details on the other side. Look at her detailing. So stunning. I am obsessed. So excited about that. I don't know why I've retried filming this clip like 16 times, but <laughs> this is maybe my 16th time doing this. What I want to say is I am sorry that it has been a very chatty vlog this morning already, but we're going to head out to see Hazel's dance recital in a few minutes and then come back and I'm going to wrap some gif gifts. I keep on saying, and the reason why I have to keep on starting over is because I keep on saying that we're going to decorate for Christmas. No, bitch. It is Christmas. We're going to wrap some gifts. So we're going to come back and wrap some of Austin's gifts and put them underneath the Christmas tree to make it feel more festive. And that's the whole premise of this week long vlogs is that it is more festivity in this household. We bring in more festivity into this household. I can't talk. Please help me. <laughs> I left my phone at home. And my camera came with, but like it was just too big and bulky and I did not want to pull it out at the dance recital. And also they like literally kick you out if you have a camera out at the dance recital because like you need to pay for it to film it. It's ridiculous. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I didn't film anything. So what you just saw was like five hours ago this morning <laughs> and now we're back home and I got my wrapping paper, which I think I'm going to run out of. Are you serious? I actually might. No, well, we'll see what we can use. And then I'm gonna wrap up some gifts. I'm also thinking to, if I do run out, I can just like go to Target and run and grab that tonight. But let's get to wrapping. I only have a few to wrap, so it's not that much, but I am a horrible wrapper. <laughs> like it's bad, you guys. I believe that one of Austin's gifts just came in. And I hope you didn't see it out here. Let me see it. Nothing like some last minute online shopping and it comes in on time. Since it's 80 degrees out and we need some ambiance in here and I cannot turn on the fireplace, we're gonna go ahead and do the fake fireplace on here. We'll do a little resume play. There we go, now that's the vibe. <laughs> I'm parched girly. Okay, we got some things that I wanna share. I can't see them too loud because the Austin's in the room, but I need quiet. Okay, 
So I'm gonna show you what I got him. However, there is one big gift that's missing today, and that is I'm gonna get him tickets. Did I already say this? I can't remember. I'm gonna get him tickets to the Minnesota Wild and Arizona Coyotes hockey game. It's in February, it's on a Wednesday, which is kind of a bummer, but he loves the Minnesota Wild, so I think it'd be so fun as a little date night on a Wednesday night. And so that's gonna be a gift that's not gonna be wrapped today. I like to do activities because there's just so much more fun like when you have something to look forward to, you know, but you have to make sure you buy the gift and you have to buy that activity first. You don't just like give him like a card that's saying like, I'm gonna buy tickets to go. Like, you gotta do it yourself, you know? You gotta like purchase those tickets. So that's one of the big ones that's gonna be happening. The first one I'm gonna wrap is, I'm actually gonna open it because I do wanna see it. Is that weird if I open up his gift and then wrap it? No, I wanna make sure it's nice. So this is gift number one. It is a, I think it's called Huega House. And it's a really popular hat brand that just like kind of hit Instagram and became really popular in the last few months. But it looks nice and big for his big noggin. And I think it's gonna, he's gonna love it. He mentioned it a few weeks ago and I'm like, I'm gonna get him one. I don't think he knows I actually got it though. So it's exciting. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap that up. His mom got him this nice like over shirt from the normal brand he loves his flannels so we're trying to get him into something a little bit different than a flannel like something a little bit more like upscale you know so so we got him here i might steal this from him oh my gosh oh i hope it's gonna be the right size it's a just a white sweater <gasps> i want this it's so cute. It's from Everlane. He's never bought any, anything from Everlane before, but his mom also got him this. So this with this, so cute. I'll link them. I think they're gonna be perfect. And then my last thing I'm gonna be wrapping. Vejas. I got him like the sportier looking ones. I am obsessed. I think he's gonna look so good in these with that outfit. Come on. I think I might have said this before, but we're trying to elevate his style with this Christmas. That's gonna be my holiday things going forward, is just elevating the style. <laughs> but I think these are gonna be amazing. But that is pretty much it for wrapping. The other stuff is already in his stocking, and it's like, I'll just show you. I got him a cologne sampler from Lee Labo because I want him to try them out and like see if we like any of them before we go ahead and splurge and like do a full investment on it because damn, those things are expensive. And if he hates them, then we don't have to do it, you know? I also got him a Salt and Stone Santal body wash, which is funny because I was just bitching about their deodorant this morning, but I heard their body wash also smells really good. And it's not like it's like deodorant, you know? It's supposed to smell good like in the shower. So we're gonna try this out. I'll let you know how it goes. And then I also got him a horror coffee mug so you guys know this we go there every single morning pretty much but four till four is our favorite coffee shop and he always says that like, he loves these like simple mugs from there so i got him one because he always talks about how he wants to buy one perfect little stocking stuffer for somebody who loves coffee and now that i'm sitting here i'm like oh, i wish i got him like one more thing so i'm thinking i might just do like some more stocking stuffers of like fun little things because i think it was one of the fun things to get is like the little stocking stuffers you know I don't know. I just think like it's so fun. It's like, and like you want to be super thoughtful with them. Like I feel like with sock and stuffers, people can get super like, how do I say this? Um, like junky. Like you can get like just kind of junky stuff. You're like, I just want to like stuff the socking with random stuff. And that's just not the case with me. Like I want it to be meaningful stuff that like, I'm like, I thought about you when I bought this, you know? Also, sorry, there's a bug around me. So that's what I'm trying to go for with the sock and stuffers. And I want it just to feel more mindful, more catered towards his likes and his wants we also have like a fruit fly infestation right now so lordy help me okay i'm so i hate wrapping so much we'll link all that stuff down below this will probably be going up i mean like midweek next week so like you're probably not going to get any of it before christmas but i think any of this stuff would be great holiday gifts or even just like birthday gifts too or just like a I'm thinking about you gifts, you know? Sometimes it's nice just to get something for somebody every once in a while. But I think these brands are all great and I'm really excited for him to get them. But let's go ahead and start wrapping.
Okay, so I finished wrapping up like what I could. I think it turned out pretty cute. Like, pretty cute. I think it did a good job. I don't have any name tags, which is kind of a bummer. And you know what? I don't want to buy any, so. Okay, but what I did want to show you is that these two go together. And so I want to wrap it up with this. I don't know where I got this from, but I, I think it was wrapped around something else once upon a time. It's kind of just like a little like burlap. Hey, yeah. Can yeah, you can come out, I think. Yeah. Everything's wrapped. I'm uh, still wrapping. I know. Well, I wanted to turn on the fire and then it's too hot in here. It's 80 degrees out. Yeah. Um, we ran out of wrapping paper, so we're going to have to get some more. Just so you know if you have anything else that you need to wrap. Like the white, this white wrapping paper with the trees on it was such, so nice to like wrap with. So I like the thin stuff just doesn't do as well. I'm gonna wrap this stuff around here. So, so rudely interrupted. I'm just kidding. Oh, I think it's gonna look so cute. All right, how do I do this? I think it looks cute. And then you know they're together. Your girl has gotten just a little cranky in the past <laughs> few minutes. <laughs> There's a reason why I do not have Instagram on my phone, okay? There is a huge reason. One of those reasons is that I do this big comparison game and I sit there and I scroll Instagram and especially during the holidays and especially around like peak times of year is when it really hits me hard, like right now. Ski season just started in Colorado. Everyone's in New York City doing Christmassy things. Everyone's in Paris doing Christmassy things. And when I say everyone, I know it's not everyone, but it's like who's on my feed. And I wish I didn't do this comparison game thing. Like I, I truly wish it was not me, but like I can feel it in my bones, the anxiety that is crippling inside me right now because I just scrolled Instagram for like 30 minutes. I was feeling very uninspired and how do I say this? Um, I felt like my situation wasn't good enough because I would kill to like be doing some festive shit in New York City right now. Or like we did last year, we went to Europe and did like all of the Christmas markets. Like that fuels my bones and it really makes me happy and excited. And so, I'm very lucky I've gotten to do that in the past. And I think there's two things. One, I cannot compare myself to others because like I have done a lot of these things. And like I'm very lucky to be doing that and I'm very thankful. Two, every year is different. And like I gotta remember that. Three, you don't know what's really happening in the moment while these people are there. It could be so much fun and they're having the time of their life or they could literally hate it and it's too damn cold for them, you know? And like, what am I on? Four or five? I don't know. But. <laughs> four or five is that I need to be happier where I'm at because if I don't appreciate where I'm at now, how do I live more in the moment? And how do I become more happier in the moment? And so that's why I don't have Instagram on my phone because I know myself and I cannot control my emotions very, very well. Like it, there's only one emotion I can't control very, very well and it's anxiety. And for some reason, social media, like full on like TikTok, Instagram, like the ones like I scroll through, give me so much anxiety. For some reason, YouTube does not, but I, I know why. It's because I'm only watching one person for 30 to 40 minutes and like I get to see everything behind the scenes, mostly. Like usually most people are like pretty realistic on, on YouTube. I, I think it's like not like the, the fact that like you're like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and seeing everyone and doing their own, like doing these things. Like I only have to see one person on YouTube at a time, you know? And it doesn't feel like so overwhelming. So. With all that being said, I think it's gonna be really important for me over the next week to not compare myself to others. And right now that just means like not being on social media because like 
I know I can't control that emotion, so don't do it, you know? That's my little rant. I can feel my anxiety starting to ridge because I got I talked about it and it's starting to go away. It's usually, if I notice it's coming up and I can feel it in my chest, in my brain, in, in my heart, everything, if I notice it's coming and I just talk about it, it makes me feel a lot better and I know that. <sighs> okay, breathe, <laughs> I need to breathe. I am a very lucky human and I have a very blessed life and I need to remember that. But I think to rid myself of this anxiety is that this little girl and I are gonna go on a walk. Hadley, do you wanna go on a walk together? <laughs> do you wanna go on a walk? Should we go outside? Should we go look at Christmas lights? Mm, I love you, I love you. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay, we're gonna do it. It's a nice, it's a beautiful night out. Since it was warm today, it's a beautiful night out. I think it's like 70 degrees. I need to go feel outside first. I mean, like, I don't think it could get any nicer out here right now. Are we not gonna focus on me? There we go. I feel like I have like a nightlight on me. Okay, well, anyways, it's a beautiful night and I'm gonna make use out of this. Look at that sky. I'll back up. It's beautiful. Right? I'm right where I'm supposed to be. That's all that matters. <sighs> Let's go look at the Christmas lights and make myself feel happy. I'm either gonna listen to a podcast or I'm gonna listen to some music. I don't really know what I'm gonna listen to. I feel like I listened to all my podcasts throughout the week, so I don't really have much that like, I'm looking forward to listening to, but I'm gonna go scour the podcast world. Are you ready to go on a walk? Should we go? I'm actually super excited because I, hey, can you stop sniffing my microphone? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. Before every single walk, we just kind of cuddle here and give the best kisses, don't we? Okay, anyways, what I was trying to say is that I'm really excited because I was looking at Spotify and I saw that Dak Shepard, armchair expert, who's just doing downward dog, and her butt was like right in the camera. Anyways, Dak Shepard, armchair expert, one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. So fun. They have what's called Armchair Anonymous. On Armchair Anonymous, they have like four guests that come in and they're just anonymous guests and they usually have like a theme. And this week's is holiday vacation. And I feel, and they're usually like funny ass stories. I feel like this is gonna be a great podcast to listen to on my little holiday Christmas light walk. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, you guys, that felt so good to get out and just be within the fresh air and like be of myself and listen to the funny holiday stories from Dak Shepard's podcast. It was just really, really good. And the lights in Scottsdale are phenomenal so if you're in the like scottsdale arcadia area people go like all out with lights and i just love it it makes me so happy and so feel so festive and just cozy and i love it but i think i am gonna end the vlog here it is like 7 p.m right now it's fully dark out it's getting nice and chillier out and i think i'm gonna shower do a little face mask, and just get cozy. I want to sit on the couch, edit some videos, watch a Christmas movie, and just be by myself and have a really good evening. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen. So, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm gonna see you tomorrow. It will be a Sunday reset day, but also a get festive day. I like it. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.